Welcome to another edition of Innovative Talks. It's Amadou Chiko Sissoko, Innovation Man. And uh, today, it's, today's a good day. Today's a good day. Why? Because uh, this topic, I wasn't initially going to talk about it. I was going to talk about uh, uh, inspiration, like finding what inspires you, finding the people who inspire you, and what you inspire others as well so that you can be able to be fully motivated and pursue what you want. But I'll come back on that. But something very interesting happened today that made me want to make this today topic about synchronicity. Synchronicity, I would define it like uh, the invisible effects or the invisible actions that happen between people and events for you to be able to, to get to where you've created or you've imagined. Uh, let's say that uh, someone wants to become a champion soccer player. He's been training for a year Every day he goes to the field and he imagines himself that he's going to play in, in a great team. He's going to be a champion of the world. But then, uh, one day he's going to training and then someone else just comes to the team, just like he was walking across the street, who's an agent. He's searching for talented players and maybe he's, he's just lost a, a, big, a big contract on a player who he had invested in, but that player was injured. So he comes, he sees this soccer field and he says, well, you know, I'm just going to sit down on the side and, and watch and see who are playing. And this day, this young man who's been wanting to become a, a very talented player, scores a few good goals, makes good passes, he's very athletic. And this guy just comes to him and tells him, well, you know what? Uh, I, I think you, uh, we should stay in touch. And, you know, and this guy becomes uh, the link for him, this young man, to be able to become a professional player. So that event is synchronistic because in some way, the young man wanted a break the, 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 the other one also was you know going through a hard time or it was going through something and was still searching to find this you know, this talented player. That's how uh, you know uh, Lionel Messi uh, may have been discovered. That's how Ronaldinho may have been discovered. And synchronicity happens in everyday lives. Like you're thinking about someone and the person calls you on the phone, or uh, you your 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 you have a dream, you have a goal. And someone just calls you and tells you, well, you know, uh, there's this opportunity uh, and, and, and that opportunity leads you towards that. So why am I talking about this today? It's been uh, a few weeks now that I had started thinking about writing every day articles and uh, posting a video every day, an inspirational video, uh, a motivational video, something about innovation, something about social entrepreneurship, something about human development, self-development, uh, creative, creative techniques. And things like that things that I'm passionate about uh, talk talk and engage people through social media to be able to you know grow this this brand or grow this idea grow this campaign grow this movement that I have of impacting the lives of 1 billion people across the world so I've been every day that I post these videos I actually in the morning I come to this field because I'm right here in Maryland and I do three tours of the field I do some exercises and then I take I find a very nice spot where I lay down, I sit down, and I meditate, and I and I pray, and I think about, and I think about this vision that I have of all these things that I want to be able to do. So today, I was thinking that I've written these articles, I've posted a lot of videos, but the articles I was writing them, I said maybe I should start posting them. Uh, I should start putting them on, uh, you know, the Dare to Innovate website, Dare to I've 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 said I'm going to create my own blog. I've even created it. I was thinking like I'm going to start posting it today. So. While I'm learning about social media, and I'm learning about how uh, it's possible to make a living from social media, but it, at the same time, it's possible to have massive impact through social media. So I don't need to uh, uh, to go to stand on a mic and scream. I can talk on social media uh, as to a specific public who wants to listen to what I'm saying. And those are people who also want to develop themselves, who are you know audaciously ambitious, who who, who love innovation, love social entrepreneurship, love human development. Those who don't like my face, they don't like my hat, that's not my issue. Uh, I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on what I love and how I can help those who love the same things become better and you know, ex expand to uh, uh, greater horizons. So I, I leave the meditation and I go back home. I, I continue you know, perfecting this writing. I, I do some, some, some things on social media. And then I receive an email. I receive an email from Matt, who is the director at One Campaign. One Campaign is a training and policy advocating uh, organization, a nonprofit uh, founded by Bono that has six million people who've, who've followed them in different campaigns that they've done. 
on agriculture, on uh, fighting poverty. They're very engaged and they engage world leaders, they engage thought leaders to become active social actors on the field. Not just giving money, but being present there, engaging in talks, participating in, in events and, and sharing this idea of a better world. And they have, what, 800,000 followers on, 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 on Twitter, more than a million fans on Facebook. I don't even look at my numbers. But for me, it's not a focus about, you know, getting numbers. I want to do something that I love doing, and I'm going to continue doing it. If I'm not going to be followed, it's not that question. But I'm going to be followed because I think that what I'm saying makes sense. So if I'm adding value to the world, people are going to, you know, want to hear more of that. And I want to talk more about it, and I want to act more about it. But the meantime, while I'm here in, in Greenbelt, the time to get to Nairobi where it's going to be a whole other thing. I'll have a team. I'll have other people who are going to help me perfect these videos. We're going to be able to reach more people. We're going to you know, publish on more. But just being contacted by one campaign who, who's asking me to, to share one or two blogs per month with them, that for me, is uh, I was very happy. But at the same time, I was like, synchronicity, you know, my vision, the actions that I'm taking the people and events that are coming towards, going towards where I want. Now, if I'm going to continue like I'm doing, making quality, innovative content that they're going to be able to share to their to their people, and that's going to be able to push them to, you know, to make impact, I've succeeded. If it's going to be these videos that they're going to fall upon, say, oh, who's this guy, you know, this young African, what is he saying? And they find something in what I'm saying right now, thank God. But this is just to show you that every time that you have a clear vision, and that you start taking the steps to go towards that vision, things and people will be drawn to you. Things and events will come to you so that you can be able to make your vision a reality. Now, when they come to you, you have to take it. You know, I'm going to go now and I'm going to work harder. I'm going to study more. I'm going to learn more things. I'm going to read more. I'm going to I'm gonna listen to every single day a new song. I'm going to dance to it. I'm going to improve my creativity skills. I'm going to improve my innovation skills. I'm going to learn better techniques. I'm going to engage more people in the street. I'm just going to improve myself and expand my potential. Why? Because now that I have this opportunity to have my blogs being written by another group of people, I need to make better things. What I've been doing is nothing. I need to innovate. I need to take what I'm doing right now, take it to a whole other level. And from there, take it to a whole other level. So the question to you is, what is it that you're creating that you're attracting? Is it something that you want that is bringing towards like uh, the, the realization of your vision? Or maybe you're receiving something that you don't even realize that you're creating the vision for. So you're maybe focused on something negative, and negative events are happening in your life, which is synchronicity, but you don't understand why all these things are happening to you. So if you're on the up streak, I would, I would encourage you and I, and, I, and I engage you to come to go, you know, innovate, do, do something else, do something greater, you know, learn more things about things that you didn't even know and try to combine them with the things that you know. But if you're in the down, learn about yourself, you know, create a vision, create a mission. You know, there, there's going to be more videos. Tomorrow it's going to be about inspiration, finding the people and the things that inspire you. Have a great evening and do what you want to do to become who you want to become. Create your vision, dare to innovate.